are going to be talking about books that involve road trips and I think that road trips are a very like summery activity a lot of people go on road trips during the summer so I think the start of summer is the perfect time to talk about my favorite books that have road trips in them this video is a paid promotion by Disney Hyperion and is actually inspired by this new release called Wild Man by JC Ganger and this is a really cool new road trip book that I want to share with you guys this book follows a boy named Lance who one day is driving through this small town and his car breaks down so he kind of gets stuck in this town and he realizes that this is kind of like a new opportunity to just kind of be whoever he wants to be. Lance at home is kind of like the school valedictorian, very like smart kid, whatever, um, and he goes to all these different towns and it's like, I can be anybody. So this book just kind of follows Lance in his journey of discovering new things and meeting new people and learning more about himself and he meets a girl and he kind of wants to be with this girl and he's like drifting farther and farther away from his hometown but he's realizing that like he's learned more about himself and has had better experiences with these people that he's known for days than the people that he's known his whole life. It's a really fun and exciting new YA book so you guys should definitely check it out and it does have a road trip which is super fun to read during the summer so this is the first book on my list of road trip books that I'm going to be sharing with you guys but yes this is Wild Man and you guys should check it out. Next book I have to share with you guys is Paper Towns by John Green. This is kind of one that I think a lot of you guys will know about, but if you don't, it's about a boy named Quentin, and he's obsessed with this girl named Margot. He's known her his whole life, but they're not really friends. He just kind of has this fixation on her, and one night she comes to his window, and they spend this whole night together doing all this crazy stuff, doing new things that he's never done before, kind of breaking him out of his shell, and then the next day Margot disappears, and she's gone, and Q doesn't know what to do, and then he kind of starts to piece things together and realize that he thinks he knows where Margot went. So him and his friends go on a road trip, kind of across the country, more like up the East Coast, but they go on a road trip to find Margot. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite road trip books. I absolutely love the layout of it. It kind of has like an hourly layout of what they're up to. And if you've seen the movie, they do it very similar in the movie as well. But they just get into some really fun shenanigans on the road trip and I really, really enjoy it. Um, and I'm just a fan of John Green's writing. So this is one of my favorites by him and I really like it. Next, we have a classic contemporary road trip book and that is Amy and Roger's epic detour this book is by Morgan Matson and the whole book is centered around an epic road trip that Amy and Roger go on from California to the East Coast Amy is moving houses and I believe that Amy and Roger's parents are friends Amy and Roger don't know each other and um Amy's mom inquires Roger to go across the country with her so that she doesn't have to drive the family car across country by herself. So Roger goes with her. Like I said, Amy and Roger don't really know each other. So obviously some interesting things are going to happen on this road trip where they're kind of getting to know each other. They don't really get along very well. But this is such an awesome road trip book because it involves playlists. It has kind of like Amy's journal and just has a lot of really fun stuff like postcards. And I don't know. I just really love this book. It's a super cute contemporary read and I just love Morgan Matson in general. So I really Really like this book and I recommend it. This book is like majority road trip, like 90% of this book is the road trip, so that's really cool about it too. So I really recommend this one. Next book on my list actually isn't a YA book, it's a new adult book, but it's one that I really like that is a road trip, and that is The Edge of Never by J.A. Redmersky. This book follows a girl named Cameron who's kind of going through some things at home. She's not loving her life, so she just kind of decides to take a random Greyhound bus across the country, and in doing so, she meets this boy named Andrew who's kind of like the same as her, doesn't really know know what he's doing and then they decide to take a road trip together strangers kind of like Amy and Roger but like literal strangers like they don't know each other at all there's not even a common connection um, but they decide to take this road trip and it's kind of like a love story of how they fall in love on this road trip and make a living while driving across the country um, it's really fascinating but it is a new adult book so keep that in mind but I absolutely love this story and I think it's really cute and very road trippy so on my list next book on my list I kind of have to give you guys a shorthand summary because it is the second book in a series but it is pandemonium by Lauren Oliver which is the second book in the Delirium series um, and this book does involve sort of kind of a road trip that I think is worth mentioning so if you've not read the Delirium series it's about this girl who lives in a society where love is a disease basically everybody when they turn 18 gets this surgery that makes them immune to loving people our main character is very apprehensive about this surgery and the first book kind of goes with her story but this is the second book in the series it's a three book series a trilogy and it's phenomenal but the second book involves sort of a road trip and I really enjoyed the whole series so you should just read the whole series if you haven't read it but I'm not going to tell you too much about this one because no spoilers. Okay and the last book on my list is not really a road trip book it's more of a scavenger hunt exploration type 
deal. Um, but it is Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Kahn and David Levithan. This is one of my favorite books. It's kind of a holiday-centric book about these two people that leave each other clues um, everywhere and they kind of have like this scavenger hunt between them but they don't even know each other. A lot of these books involve people that don't know each other, like what? Um, so it's kind of like them going different places and exploring new things. So it's sort of like a road trip but not really. They don't go together but it's them kind of exploring the city of New York, doing things. It's sort of like a road trip. I don't know. It's not really a road trip, but I thought it was worth mentioning just because it's super cute. But it involves a lot of different destinations and going new places and stuff like that. So I thought it was worth mentioning. But yeah, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares. Very good. Recommend it for the holiday season. So that is my list for my favorite road trip books. If you guys have any different books that are on your list, definitely let me know down below. I would love to read them. I love a good road trip book. I think they're so fun and exciting and they're less predictable than like an average. Like we live in this small town and we do the same stuff. Like I love like a road trip. It's exciting. It's fun. And I love it for summertime because summer is when people go on road trips, I feel like. So again, make sure to go check out Wild Man. This book just came out. It's a new release. Came out on June 6th. So it's fresh. It's new it's exciting and it involves a road trip so it's super fun for the summertime and yeah I really I really recommend it to you thank you so much again to Disney Hyperion for sponsoring this video I really appreciate that I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one bye